Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. Hey, I just got off the call with one of my dealers and I'm going to let you guys see this live. We've got 200, 200 of our stores logging in as we're going through a battle test event. Now, you know me, I teach people to run to pressure and get uncomfortable. If you want to take your team to the next level, watch this next one hour training of me pushing salespeople and overcoming any objection that they throw at me. Welcome to training with me, baby. Let's go. There is literally no one in the world, zero, nobody that can tell you no if you're deadly with this old mouthpiece right here, okay? Now, how do you get deadly with it? Number one, I'm going to give you guys a couple tips before we get started, all right? Number one, you have to believe, okay? Listen to me. I'm going to make this crystal clear. If you don't believe in you, no one else is going to believe in you. No one. Zero. Okay. When some of you speak, you speak as in, I hope you're going to do this with me. Not as in, I, I know you're going to do this with me. Does that make sense? So I need you to understand something. If you don't believe in yourself, forget about the product, forget about the company, forget about everything. But if you don't believe in yourself, you are never going to become a master communicator or a master closer. It can't happen. It won't happen. So let's just decide right now at this point to take and get rid of any low self-limiting belief inside of your body and your mind and everything. And by the way, listen to me. I want to ask you guys a question. What's your goal? You guys trying to make a couple hundred grand? You guys trying to become a millionaire? You guys trying to become a multi-multi-millionaire or even a billionaire? You're all capable of it. Every single one of you, every single person on this call is capable of that. You've taken the time to get on the call. Now, let's take the time to grow and to learn. By the way, I want to tell you something. I, I, I'm not telling you people should go to college or that they shouldn't go. But I want to tell you something. People need to learn to learn. Okay. I, I didn't go to college, but I learned to learn. L listen to me. A lot of you think you know how to learn, but you don't. You don't know how to learn because you're not growing. Listen to me. The fastest way for me to tell whether an individual knows how to learn or not is to look at the, their selves. I look at their body physically to see if they're improving in life and growing, if they're getting physically better looking, if they're taking care of themselves better. That is learning. It's good to take care of yourself. So you should, that's part of it. Secondly, mentally, the way you speak, the way you talk. Do I, do I smell any doubt on you, right? Is your language smooth? Does it flow like water? Do you get choked up? Okay, also on top of that, like just go through each one of these little things. Learn to learn. Do you sound the same as you did yesterday? And then we're gonna say results. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. If you would like to be live on one of these calls, shoot me a text message right now. We'll get you set up to be live on our next one. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text right now. 918-210-0254. Let's kill it. Are you getting results? Is your income going up? Listen to me. Guys, everybody understand this. How do you know? This is business 101. How do you know if you're getting better? How? It's simple. Your bank account is increasing. Would everybody agree? If you're making more money, your bank account should increase. Yes or no? Oh. All right. All right. So listen to me. If you go look at your bank account right now, is it doing this? If it's not doing this, you need to learn to learn. By the way, I want to explain something. Then we're going to get into this. When I learn something new, which I do every day, or I'm reminded of something I forgot, right? And I'm like, damn, I freaking knew that. Why did I let that fall to the wayside? Why did I forget that? Some of you guys, you may not learn something new today. You may remind yourself of something that was really important to you. And it was once part of your foundation game plan to really grow your life. And that doesn't exist anymore. And that could be your problem, okay? But when I learn something, I'm dangerous, I am a person every day and I'm on the hunt and on the search, learning and, and trying to learn from people who are where I want to go or who have been where I want to go. That's who I learn from. Okay. I don't learn from people doing the same as me or doing less than me. I'm always elevating up. Okay. So I just want you to understand this. Always put yourself in bigger rooms. Put yourself in rooms with people that are doing greater than you and then be ready to learn. Because if you're learning, you should be changing. If you're not learning, that means you don't know how to learn. Okay. 
you learn to change. That's the only reason why we're on the call. So let's start rocking and rolling. Here's what I want. I told you guys to write down an objection. Okay. Um, let's roll. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab, right, listen to me. We, we can play games one or two ways. I'll grab somebody or you can just like raise your hand and I'll grab you. I really don't care. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But let's roll. Listen, interaction. Don't be freaking scared today. All right. Uh, Matt Crate. Come on, bud. Come on. Let's, let's talk. What's going on, guys? Andy, what's going on, my man? Thanks for taking time, brother. Matt, what's up, son? You ready? Hey, I'm, yes, sir. Let's ride. All right. Don't be today, Matt. What's the objection? The objection is, is that, um, you know, I just don't know if it's the right time for me to buy with the market. Hey, hey, Matt, let me ask you a question. How did we get in connection with each other right now? Did I reach out to you? Did you reach out to me? Um, is this real or is this part of the objection? Matt, this is real. I'm asking you a real question. You, you just told okay. me you know, it's the right time because of the economy, the market, or whatever. I got you. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Asking, um, I, I'm yeah, asking yeah, Matt, um, Matt, did I call you or did you call me? I called you. Matt, you called me because there's something on your heart and you wanted to do it. Am I right or right? You're right. Okay, Matt, would you agree that a lot of people want to do something, but at the end of the day, they don't end up doing anything about it and they have the same life and they always do and they can't make decisions. Would you agree they become paralyzed with fear? Am I right? You're right. I've been, Matt, you I've been scared, looking at this Matt, car for six months. Matt, you weren't scared to make the phone call, were you? I was not, no. All right, that's my point, Matt. It is the right thing to do. And by the way, listen to me. Do you care about how everybody else in the world's living or do you care about how you're living? How I'm living. Right, Matt. Would you agree most people are going to have the same life next year that they have this year? We don't want to be most people, do we, Matt? No, we do not. Good. Making the decision today with me right now is going to keep you exceptional and unlike most people. You don't want to be common, do you? Matt, welcome to being uncommon. Let's do the deal. It's really simple, Matt. You guys get me? Listen to me. Do I believe? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Do Matt's questioning himself, but I ain't questioning me. Matt, next, next. Anything else? No, that was that's just the that that was strong. I I think the big thing that I want to make sure that um, Matt uh, I got from that is is Matt, the certainty. Matt, listen to me. Believe, believe, yeah. believe. Please, gentlemen, ladies, everybody, listen to me. Listen, listen, listen to me. I swear on my life, if you will do one thing, for, please, for your family, for yourself, for your customers, or for your company, if you don't learn a damn word track and you can't learn any new language, okay, it, you can you can believe. You can believe, but I'm going to explain this to you. Competence creates confidence. If you want to become more confident, Become more competent in what you do. Everybody, write this down. Don't ever let anyone know your business better than you. Ever. You guys all communicate for a living. All of you. You're a master communicator. Listen to me. When I can put my arms around you or I'm on the phone with Matt just like this, notice Matt's like, I don't know if it's right for me because of the con con I'm like, hey, Matt, hey, I totally understand. Hey, Matt, did you call me or did I call you? You called me, right? Notice how he diverted it immediately, went back to Matt, made it his idea that he wanted to do with it. Okay? All right. Love you, Matt. I'm telling you guys, listen to me. You want to be the best in the world? Everybody write this down. If I want to be in the best of the world, in the world, I have to do two things. Guys, I am going to, I am going to give you the secret to life right now. Number one, stay uncomfortable. Stay uncomfortable. The day you get comfortable, you're dead. You're dead. You'll never be alive again. You're dead. You'll be a walking dead man. Number one, stay uncomfortable. Number two, listen, this is my favorite. Run. Are you in run to pressure? Run to it. When somebody's pressuring you, you run and you jump in it like a like a little kid when they run and jump in the balls and like Chuck and Cheese. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, ah, ah, and you just jump in it. Guys, so many of you guys, when the pressure comes on, right? And you're like, oh, there's pressure. Guess what? Be like, oh, shit, this is exciting. Yes, I feel alive. 
I'm not scared. I'm excited. Go get in the middle of that. Cool. All right, next. Let's go. Come on, hand raise. Somebody. All right, Glockner. Come on. Let's go. Glockner of Ashland. Let's roll. What's going on, Andy? How you doing, man? <clears throat> we doing, buddy? You ready to roll today? I'm always ready to roll, Andy. So I got one for Let's you. Go, Joe. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So look, I uh, I really like the vehicle, but the payments are way higher than what I planned on coming in here, man. If I'm just being honest. Hey, hey, number one, I totally understand. Are you saying you can't afford it or you don't want to afford it? Which one? And by the way, hey, I'm just asking the truth. We're face to face right now. You can't afford it or you don't want to afford it. Which one? Uh, I guess I don't want to afford it. Yeah. You, you don't want to afford it. Hey, let me ask you a question. The most important thing in your life that you'll ever own is going to be a car. See, if you don't have a car, you can't get to your house, right? If you don't have your car, you can't get to your job. You can't keep your house. If you don't have a great car, the number one thing in your life that you pay for is your car. Without a car, you can't keep everything else. Would you agree, Jos Josiah? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Can I ask you a question, Josiah? What's your house payment? Uh, eight, eight fifty a month. Okay. If a car is more important than the house, is the car payment going to be higher than the house? Yeah. It is. Yeah. If so a car is more important. important. No, 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 no. Hold on. But listen to me. I'm asking you a question right now. Watch this. Josiah, do me a favor. Write down your house payment. Write down your mortgage payment on a piece of paper. Okay? Yeah. If you don't have a car, you can't get to your house. If you don't have a car, you can't get your job. You can't keep your house. Am I right? So the most important thing in this life is a car. Am I right or right? You're right. Okay, cool. So what's your house payment? He says 836. I'm like, Josiah, the car payment 719. So, so the car payment's less important, or I mean, it's more important, but it's less money. Isn't that a better deal than the house? Yeah, for sure. Okay, Josiah, so it's not a fact that you can't afford it. It's just that you needed to look at it and realize how important it was to you. I hope I reminded you again that there's nothing more important in your life than your car. By the way, Josiah, Josiah, write this down. Bill swap, B-I-L-L, -L. Bill, B-I-L-L, -L. Bill swap, S-W-A-P, Josiah, you may need to do some bill swapping when you came in here today and get rid of some bills that aren't important, that don't improve your family's life, that aren't as high on the chain of importance to your family. And you may need to get rid of those bills because this bill is more important. Am I right, Josiah? Yeah, you're right. Now, listen to me, because you came out of here out of budget today or because you came in here today and didn't realize how important your car is. Now you do understand it. Let's do the deal. You got the great vehicle. And guess what? When you go home, you can adjust in either bill the way that you want. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Josiah, now we can I ask you a question. Whether you like what I said or whether you don't like what I said, I'm going to ask you this. What I say makes sense. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, it made sense. You know why it made sense? Because I believe what I said. <laughs> See, listen to me, Josiah. If you said what I said, the only difference, whether they would believe it or not, would be you. Josiah, I want to explain this to you, okay? I'm going to sit next to you, and I'm going to look in your eyes, and I'm not going to get emotional. I'm going to close you with common sense every single time. I don't need any smart mouth, quick word tracks. I've got thousands of those. I trained, listen to me, I trained in the beginning word tracks so I wouldn't say dead things that didn't make sense. I wanted to be a sniper, be great with my words. So in the beginning of my closing stages, I learned word tracks. Then once I learned word tracks, I said, hey, man, dude, I got to believe in me more than anything. What really makes these words work is me. I'm what makes these words work. So I started working on me, my belief, my posture. Notice my posture, Josiah. I'm talking to you like this. I look like I, I care and I do care. And I look like you're the most important thing in the world to me because you are. I'm not sitting in my chair like this okay like listen to me your posture I'm, I'm leaning into you okay like 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 hey let's take care of this okay are you kidding me like listen to me guys every single thing in your life you can control and no one else does this no one listen to me listen guys it's this easy but listen whatever i said to him as long as i believe it he'll believe it that's it and by the way, did it make sense common sense wise? It's called a bill swap, right? Hey, Josiah, can I ask you a question? Get a piece of paper right now, number one through five. Number one through five. Okay, one through five. Number one. Hey, write down number one. What's the most important thing that you have to pay out of your paycheck? I don't care how much money you make. You make 500 to make 50,000 a month. I don't care. 
Okay, what's the number one most important thing you're going to pay out of your life? It's going to be your car, Josiah, because without your car, you can't get to your house. Without your car, you can't get to work, which means you can't go home, which means you can't get back to your job. You've got to have a car, right, Josiah? Yes, sir. Okay, so number one, write down car. On line one, write down car. Number two, write down house. Now, Josiah, if the car is more important than the house, and the, the car payment should be bigger than the house payment, isn't it? Yes, but it's not. Something's backwards. Let's not get too caught up on that, okay? But it's not. What's underneath that, Josiah? Electricity. Okay. Uh, food. We're going to write down food. Underneath that, right? Electricity. Okay, I'm not asking you to run your house off candles, Josiah. Right? <laughs> I don't want you to cancel your electricity. But can I ask you a question? Everything underneath number four, food, electricity, and car and house, all those things are really up for grabs, whether they're really important or not. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Okay, so we can bill swap some of those items out for a little higher car payment for something that's more important because there's nothing more important than a car. Am I right? Yes. Let's do business. Sign right here. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Guys, listen to me. Listen. Th this, this is how I made a half a million dollars a year every year. At, at, guys, every, every year. And, a, and guys, almost a million in many cases. By, by just being this person that you're seeing right now. Guys, I am you, you are me. I've been in your shoes. I'm in your shoes right now. I live in your shoes. All I want you to do is to be on this call today and be ready to learn. That's all I want. Not to consume information, not to watch it for entertainment, but just change. That's all I want. Okay. So, hey, Josiah, does that help you? Yes, sir. That's good. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to go up. I see somebody that says iPhone, right? <laughs> That's kind of weird because the camera ain't on. I, look, look, if you're going to raise your hand, yeah. number one, can, can uh, you get a little bit of There we go. We got to turn your camera on. And number two, right, uh, you should have a name. It's okay. Hold on. I'm coming to you. But I want to say, can I tell you guys a quick 30-second story? And then, and then we're going we're gonna, to – I'm going to move to this guy, okay? We're going to keep moving. But I want to tell you remember, – remember what I told you guys. Get uncomfortable, run to pressure. Remember I said that? Those two things will change your life? I want to tell you how my life changed and how I had to get uncomfortable and run to pressure. So I worked at a dealership called Hudeberg Chevrolet. It was, it sold seven, 800 cars a month. It was like a mile long dealership. And there were all these little dealerships lined up. I was 22 years old. And my general manager said, I'd like for you to be the company closer. I said, that sounds really cool, man. I was down in used cars. And he goes, let me explain this. I'm going to get you out of used cars. And I'm going to give you a golf cart. I'm going to give you a Nextel walkie talkie. I'm like, dude, that's super cool. He goes, I'm going to hit you like, and then I'm going to say, GMC building, lady, white hair, blue purse. You'll know she's leaving out the showroom floor. You get your ass in the golf cart. You get down there and you go figure out how to close the deal. Well, first of all, first day, he, he pages me. He's like, hey, white lady GMC, boom, get my golf cart. I'm rushing down there. It's 8.15 in the morning. They got an early deal working. I run into the sales tower and I tell the manager, I say, hey, tell me about this deal. You know what he says? He goes, dude, that lady's leaving. I learned real quick. I wasn't going to get a lot of information. I didn't have time to say, oh, show me her credit. What is she buying? What's her objection? What do they want to do? I had to run outside and say, hey, what's going on? My name's Andy. I'm the deal coordinator. My job's to help put, put the deals together and coordinate them. Listen, I just want to come out and say hi to you. You're amazing. Seem like one of the nicest customers we've had all year long. Do me a favor. I need to go over something with you real quick. It's going to be like your birthday. Matter of fact, as we're walking over here, I'm going to sing you happy birthday. Come on. You ever won the lottery? Because you just have. You won the lottery by meeting me. You got a magic rabbit foot in your pocket? You must because it's your lucky day. Dude, I'm just saying everything I can to will her in this office, right? And then I get in there and I say, give me just a second. I forgot what I wanted to show you. I'll be right back, okay? Let me go get it real quick. I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to show this to you. Get ready. It's going to blow your mind. And I'd go in the tower and say, all right, where do we need to be? And they'd say, we need to be at 580 a month. And I'd say, cool, where does she want to be? They'd say 250. I'm like, all right, let's go. And I turn around and you go. And guess what? You come out with 580 because you don't have a choice. You got to show these other salespeople that you're big daddy. You got to show them that you're the closer. So you're the man. You're able to do magical things. But really, at the end of the day, none of it's magical. None of it is, is I believed and I knew in that pressure situation, I had an opportunity to grow or to fail. And by the way, listen to me, I'm going to explain this to you. I, I run a lot. I run every day. Sometimes if I'm running and I, and I want to stop, 
I'll say to myself, I'll say failure. And I will run until my, my, my bones bleed because I am not going to fail. How many of you guys are giving in to failing? Knock it off. You're done, guys. Today, that's over. And by the way, listen to me. The value of having a mentor is to find somebody who's been where you want to go. And by the way, listen to me. When I was younger, they, you know, they talked about how to get rich was to take a rich man out to dinner. And you don't have to buy, uh, buy a course because there wasn't courses to buy back then. You just sat down and you let them talk. And hopefully they told you enough about their life that you could learn it. And that dinner paid for itself. So you learned what, what you learned as he shared information with you. And then you left. Guys, I've read 700 books probably in the last two years. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm sharing and showering every single thing I've ever learned. 22 years of experience. Every customer can, uh, transaction, interaction I've had with them. I am telling you guys, listen to me. You guys can get whatever you want as long as you believe it. But you have to acquire the skill. But first, you have to believe. And by the way, have fun. Can, can, can you do me a favor, guys? As we're getting better and we're going through this journey, when I see people miserable, it really pisses me off. Because you know what? What's the value of trying to become great, trying to become a legend, trying to go to next level? And not trying, but doing it. And then being miserable and in a bad mood. Guys, if you notice one of the things about the Elliott group, we're always on fire. That we're always on team smile, guys. Come on. Come let on, guys. Come let on. those damn teeth live. Nate, Nate, you better let those teeth live, Nate. I'm watching you. Come on. Do some of y'all. Yep. But the ugly I'm, ones on here just got a lot better looking just by smiling. Yeah, some of you ugly ones just like, got a lot better looking that by smiling. But when yeah. you smile, hey, Tim, 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 like, he's like, he, he's hot. Hey, him. Tim Tinkle, smile. Yeah, your last name should make you smile. Yeah. 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 If my last name was Tinkle, I, I don't even, I'd be and, like, hey, and Tim wears this thing hey. called the belt because Tim beats everybody's butt. Hey. Tinkle's all over him. Hey, but I would just be like, they'd be like, what's your name? I'd be like, Andy Tinkle. I just say Tinkle. Tinkle. I just say Damn it. I'm like, I hate telling you. Everybody look at Barbara Tiger right here. All right. Right. She's so happy. All right, That's here we go. Let's go through objections. All right, my guy in the iPhone. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, son. Got to hit the unmute button. Yep, and the black tie. Come on. Hit the unmute button. Oh, hey. Hey, good morning, Andy. Good morning, bud. What's going on? Talk to me. Hey man, how are you? Yeah, I just uh, I just wanted to say, you know, I, just, I was watching one of your videos last night about how to kill an interview, and I actually had an interview this morning in a dealership, and I just wanted to say, man, thank you so much. That video was a really helpful video, and uh, I just can't wait, you know, to be part of your group. Good, you are a part of it. Did you go get the job, yes or no? Give us some good news. Uh, he said he gave me the personality test. I think it's something new. I did the personality test. He was like, I'll give you a call back so you can come and shadow like my salespeople. Okay, then, hey, then, then I'm probably going to probably gonna give it to you. But listen to me. Here's what I would do. I'd say, hey, let me ask you a question. Let's say I take this personality tech test and it doesn't give you the right answers, right? I mean, do you really, do you really, do you really hire people off personality tests? Can't you look at me right now and tell by the fire in my belly I want to win? I want to go out here and serve these customers at the highest level? Can't you tell, man? Come on, man. Yeah, I, yes, I, I told him the exact same thing. And he's just like, this is part of the corporation. We yeah, have to take the test. Yeah, people do these silly personality tests. It's cool. Hey, I get it too. I understand. They got processes. Number one, you need to call them tomorrow and say, hey, what did it say? I'm crazy or do I need to go somewhere else? What are we doing? Okay, what time I mean, do you I, want to show up? I'd be calling here in three hours. I'd say, how long? that down. While you guys are I'm sitting, just sitting at the showroom floor at 6 a.m. ready to go. Yeah, I, I don't. I, 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 catch him, I catch him right when he jumps out of his car in the morning and I say, boom, what the hell are you buddy? Uh, they got that on the test. They got a little thing called relentlessness on that test. All right, we're going to the next one. All right. Uh, Andy, let me go. Let me go. All right. All right. Let's go, Tinkle. Hey, uh, so I want to buy this, but I'm not. This is like a double two, two, two sided here. A, yeah, I'm not, speed it, spit it out, son. What do you want to say? A, a, I'm not sure that my car is going to be totaled yet. And B, I'm just waiting on an insurance check. Tim, I'm 100% confident even if your car isn't totaled, the fact that you think it might total be totaled means that you probably don't want to put your family in it. Am I right or right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so anything yeah, that's right. been smashed in a collision, you don't want to go put your kids in. I know your kids are everything to you. Am I right? What's it like hail? Hell, I mean, so at the end of the day, I don't want to drive around a golf ball, do you? <laughs> and, and let's say you do fix it. At the end of the day, 
Dude, look, dude, it's been repainted. We're going to bend all the metal back. You really think it's going to last? Can I ask you a question? Once the insurance company does their job, when time goes by and they bend all that metal back, you know what's going to crack. I mean, are you really going to be one of the people that fall for that and actually think that it doesn't? That'd be You'd be foolish to think like that. Am I right, Tim? Yeah. And you're not a fool, are you? Uh, not all the time. Good. So, so we're going to go ahead and replace it today because I know one thing. The one thing that we can guarantee is that you today replacing that vehicle, you don't have to worry about that. And then there's not even any burden to think about. Am I right? Yeah. Good. So who cares? Whether it's total or whether it's not, we're going to sell you another vehicle today. And then guess what? Whether it's total or whether it's not, you'll trade out of it. We're going to put a contract today on a car that you're going to replace it with because you need a car, Tim. Am I right? As a matter of fact, guess what, dude? I mean, I'm just telling you, there's multiple ways that you could handle that, Tim. Multiple ways. Because bottom line is, even if they don't total the car, the insurance company is still going to fix the car. Am I right? So they can trade the car in. And bottom line is, your used car manager knows that he's going to get a fixed vehicle when it comes right. back in. Does that make sense? Yeah. Trade for the car, Tim. Well, then it is. I'm just, I'm just waiting for my check. Yeah, Tim, you don't have to wait for your check. It's 2023. This isn't, this isn't 2001. Okay, I can call your insurance company right now. They're going to verify what you're getting. We'll minus your deductible. We know what your check's going to be. You're a great guy. Let's do the deal. It's not a problem. I trust you. I trust you more than you trust yourself, it sounds like. <laughs> you feel me? All right, Tim? Okay, cool. Let's do the deal. Guys, let's do the deal. Let's do the deal. Guys, listen to me. Can do attitude. Write it down. Can do do attitude. I can do anything. I can do it. I believe I can do it. And by the way, listen to me. I dare any of you guys to come on here and challenge me because I don't care. There's nothing you can say that's going to make me not win. And by the way, I'm going to make you feel like you won. I don't want to be right. I want to feel, I want you to feel like you win. I okay? got one for Andy guys. He can never get this one right ever. Ian, come in here. Oh shit. I just pulled him. Which, which twin am I? <laughs> he still can't get it right. That's Ian. <laughs> God, still got it wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know who they are now. I know who they are now. After three years, we know who. I, mean, I can't treat you. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, Jay, let's go. Come on, Jay. Jay, what you got? What's up, Andy? All right, I got a good one. Um, you guys gave me. It better be a good one after you said I've got a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you guys gave me 0% interest on 72 months on my last three cars. If you guys can't do that this time around, I mean, I, I can't take the car. Hey, Jay, number one, I totally understand. Would, would you agree times have changed, things have changed, and people have changed, yes or no? Yes. Okay, the last time you bought gas three years ago is probably about $3 a gallon. It's $5 now. Do you still fill your, your car up, or do you just not get gas in the water? I still fill my car up. Okay. <laughs> Listen to me. Your car's worth more money today than it's ever been worth. Before in the past, when you did sell, trade, or whatever to get a new vehicle, you did have to replace the car you currently had. Am I right? Well, conditions are so high and trades are worth so much money that before in the past, even though you didn't pay an interest rate, you still didn't get enough for your car. Whereas today you may pay a little interest, but you're getting way more than your car's worth. Am I right? Yeah. Isn't that still more money? And at the end of the day, if you care about money, whatever gives you the most money is the way to go. I probably bet now that we've had this conversation in the past, you wish you did pay a little bit of interest and got a lot more for your trade. Okay. Times are going to change. Things are going to change. It's just, it's just a pendulum. It's a teeter totter. That's all it is. Okay. You're still saving a ton of money. Let's do the deal. Thanks. Next. Hello. Hello. Come on. Come on guys. Let's go. All right. Who's got J Jillian? I can't call you. Jared, it's, it's Jared. 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 Yes, sir. I got you. Let's rock and roll, Jared. All right. Jared, so I'm, Jared, I'm, I'm in power sports. Jared, I'm in power sports doing? industry. And uh, we constantly have to grab vehicles from other stores. And, you know, so the objection is, hey, I, if I can't see it, I don't, I don't want to do the deal and fill out all the information, run my credit. What, tell, tell me your name one more time. Jarrett. Okay. And you said you sell at a power sports company, am I right? Yeah. So motorcycles, ATVs, UTVs. If I can't see it, I'm not going to sign out, do all the paperwork. Yeah. Hey, I told Jared, number one, I totally understand. Look, you look like a rider. You look like you've had ATVs and bikes for a long time. Am I right or right? Yes. At the end of the day, when's the last time you bought a brand new one and you weren't excited about it? Probably never. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, times have changed. Things have changed. The people have changed, right? Due to the chip shortage and COVID-19 on shortage of inventory, you used to be able to drive by a motorcycle lot or an ATV shop and you could, and you could just see thousands of 
pieces of metal out there and there was more stuff to choose from than ever. But now you drive by one of our locations like ours, and it's like you can land a 747 airplane on the lot because there's no inventory. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. Good. So the way things are, and we've agreed that times have changed, is that there's better ways to buy stuff. But listen to me, it's all about availability now. So the fact that you want this, you're not going to find it on somebody's lot. It doesn't exist. But we know that in the past, by your by your pre, uh, past experiences, every time you bought something and it was new, you were totally happy. So what would be different this time? Nothing. It's just that times have changed, people have changed, and things have changed. Listen to me. I'm going to get the vehicle. We're going to do a, a transaction on it. We're going to get all your paperwork handled. And for some reason, when the vehicle gets here, if you don't want to take delivery of it, listen, I can pick up the phone and call 50 other people ready to come by it. Okay. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Things have just changed. So we've got to do it this way. And I know that you understand. Listen to me. If you drove by every motorcycle lot or every ATV shop and they have thousands of units sitting outside, you'd probably think that I'm just pulling your leg, but you already know that because if you could go down the road and buy it, you probably would have done it. We want it together. Okay. And by the way, listen to me, Jared, I want to tell you something. All right. My goal today just isn't to sell you a motorcycle or an ATV or whatever it is you're trying to buy. It's to serve you at the highest level that's important to you and your family. Okay. Based on everything that you said that you want, not only will you be ecstatic and happy with this, but we're going to over deliver. I'll make sure it's cleaned up, gassed up, ready to rock and roll when you get here. And it's the best buying experience ever. So let's contract on it now. That way I can get it here quick and then I'll see you on the delivery. Fair? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, listen to me. Just push through. Everybody write down, push through. Push through. Push through, guys. Don't get caught up. Guys, can I ask you a question? Do you want to eat out of their hand or do you want them to eat out of your hand? You want them to eat out of your hand, right? Of course. Okay, then, then, then take control. Guys, am I being abrasive in any way? Am I being weird in any way? No, guys, I'm being an expert. I'm a trusted guy. They, they, look, they came to us and trusted us to be able to lead them. Okay? Why would we, why would we not be absolute certain? Guys, do you know why people don't buy stuff? Certainty. Certainty is something that the salesperson provides that the customer is going to need help with. Customers go from being certain to uncertain, certain to uncertain, certain to uncertain. The salesman can't go from being certain to uncertain. Certain <laughs> that's 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 unreliable success. It's just that's you can't make it that way. So you have to stay on fire. All right. I'm gonna try to say this. All right, come on, tell us how you say your name. Abhinav. That doesn't look like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Abhinav. Yeah, pretty good. Abhinav, what's up? Tell me, what do you do? Uh, so I so this is my first time. So I want to thank you because last week I saw your video uh, about how to get hired the same day, and I had no idea that it was possible. So it led like a tiny mind shift, and then I walked into two dealerships because I just got my work permit in the U.S. I walked into two dealerships and convinced them to hire me the same day. And then I selected which ones cars I liked more. And then I started the process with them. Okay. So what's your question? By the way, I love you. Appreciate you. Now I know who you are. Tell me what your question is. Let's yeah. Go. So my question is that, you know, when you're saying that you just jump in and you push through, at what point do you realize when you're jumping in and you're pushing through that it's becoming a bit aggressive for your customer and it could blow up the deal? Well, number one, I want you to understand this. The second you fall out of rapport, the deal's over. Okay. So you need to understand something. Okay. There may be some things as we're playing quick like this for a new guy like you. That's like, Oh, is this how we listen to me? Uh -oh. Let, let's back up. Here's what I would tell you. Look, do me a favor. What is your cell phone number? Are you in Canada? No, I'm in the U S. Okay. Brennan's got your number. Brennan, reach out to him when he's done. Listen, here's what you need to do. You need to make sure you're training like the zero to hundred K force. Okay. It's very simple. You need to learn this. That Look, people can buy, they came to buy, and they will buy as long as you do your job. You're yeah. going to build rapport. You're going to make sure that people love you. Right out the gate, you're going to build the best friend in two minutes. Once you build that best friend in two minutes, you're going to continue to build rapport. Once you continue to build that rapport, you're never going to fall out of rapport. You're going to continue to build more rapport and more rapport and more rapport. And then they're going to be saying to you, like, I, I, I can't believe I'm telling you this. I, I've never told anybody this. And they're going to be telling you stuff because they feel comfortable with you, that they didn't know that they were going to tell you. And then they really like you. And then you're speaking to them with familiarity. And you guys talk to each other like you've been friends your whole life. And then you're doing business together. 
And then you're the trusted advisor and you know your job really well. And guess what? They're so happy that they can buy from somebody that they feel comfortable with who's also really good at their job. Just at, what I need you to do is this. Number one, I'm grateful that you're here, but you got you just need to listen, take notes, and you need to be studying on something. And I promise you, everything's going to come to you in due time. I promise you. But great question. Number one, I don't have combativeness. I don't have friction. I've got control. By the way, I'm close with these people. I've worked very hard and I've earned the right. Everybody write this down. Earn the right to have these conversations with them. Okay. I don't just have these conversations with people that I just met. Okay. But I want you to understand this. I've earned the right. I built the report to be able to talk to them directly. This is your direct call. Hey, hey, Bob, listen, man, you, we've been with each other for an hour and a half now. I've gotten to know you. I know your wife. I know your kids. I know what you've had. I know the fourth, four, four, the last four cars you've owned. I know why you bought the car last time. I know your dominant buying mode of Bob, why you're here today. Bob, X plus Y equals Z. Bob, pass, go. Collect your freaking money and let's roll, buddy. This is everything you've ever wanted. It's time. Let's go. Sign here. I can say that now that I built that report, okay? Yeah. Yeah, just stay with me. Just stay with me. I know you got a lot of questions, okay? But all those questions are going to be answered while you're doing the study, and I promise you, okay? So love you, man. You're going to kill it. Let's go Let's go crush it. I promise you. Thank let's you. I've, I've been studying your 100 to 400K course, and I literally love it because I sure. that's my aim. I want to make as much as I can this year. Good. Just I want you to just keep listening as I'm going around. I promise you you're going to build your confidence, okay? Okay? I got you, right? It's all going to happen. All right. Hey, good job, buddy. Good job. Just got promoted to GM. That's my boy, but I keep wanting to call your wife's name, so you got to change that. All right, let's go next. Who, who's got their hand? Come on. Okay, Kevin Ramos. Let's go, son. Come on. What's it, your day off today? Did they get yeah. you day off? My day off today. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, Kevin. I'm just kidding. You're here training, so I'm grateful for you. I'm just giving you a hard time. Kevin, talk to me. What do, what do we got? You want to try, try to tie Big Daddy up? Let's go. <laughs> one thing i've been getting kind of stuck on is like high owner cars um car might have like uh twenty thousand miles but they say like oh i don't want this this car's had like four or five owners on it uh what, what's something i kind of get past that okay you're saying people say that the car's been owned too many times is that right yeah pretty much okay so number one it's not that the car's been owned too many times the car has twenty thousand miles on a twenty thousand mile car owned by one person or a twenty thousand mile car owned by three people every single time on a transaction on carfax that something happens with the title people go down and register it'll show most likely a new owner does that make sense yeah okay now can i ask you a question yeah. is this car right here the one that you're looking at with twenty thousand miles is it a beautiful beautiful vehicle yes or no Yes, it's gorgeous. Okay. If I took the car fact and I said it had one owner on it, right? Right? How would you feel about it? You probably feel differently. Would you agree? Yes. Well, how did you buy cars back in 2000 when you didn't know how many people owned them? Uh, you didn't know. You looked at the car, you checked it out, you drove it, you checked out the condition, and you saw if it was a good deal. Am I right? Right. Well, that's the same thing you need to do now. The only thing you need to be concerned about is not the ownership part. Is, is has it been in a major accident? Is there anything wrong with it? Are there any recalls? It is a bad vehicle. Wouldn't you agree that that stuff's more important? Yeah, you're right. Good. Now that now that we've got that out of the way, right? I'm so glad that you're here today. It's got 20,000 miles on it. It's the nicest one in America. One to 10, it's an 11. If I had 100 of these, I could sell 100 a day. If I covered the odometer, you think it had zero miles. It's everything you've looked for. I know when you came in today, you weren't just looking for price. You were looking for value, value for the price. You found it. Let's go inside and let me put together um, a crazy proposal to blow your mind. Is that fair? Let's do it. Yeah, just move past it, buddy. Just listen. Don't get caught up in that. Okay? Listen to me. I don't care if they tell you the ice cream is melting in the car. Don't, don't fall for that. Okay? Listen to me. You, they can be any – everybody understands this. They can be anywhere in the world right now. And they're with you. They could be anywhere in the world and they're with you. You think they you, you think that they don't want to be with you? They want to be with you. The reason why they want to leave is probably because you're maybe um, creating some dead space. You're creating some lag. Okay? Guys, listen to me. Create some excitement, some thrill, right? Like, like guys, like put them in a state to want to buy Okay, I don't care what they're doing. Who, whose job is it to put the people in a great state to make them want to say yes today? That's your job. Guys, when I train you, listen to me. You have to change. 
You have to recreate. Okay, what does that mean? You say, Andy, I'm not like that. I don't care. I told you, you have to get uncomfortable. Okay, secondly, run to pressure. When they say no, guess what? You're going for it, baby. Okay, all right, let's go. Give me another one. Come on, let's go. Walker, Walker, let's roll. Hey, what's up, boss? All right, Walker, Never. let's go, sunshine. Yeah. What do you got? <laughs> uh, this, so uh, one that's been a hard one is uh, this. So uh, another v, another store selling their vehicle at MSRP with ours 10 to 15K over. Yeah, so listen, at the end of the day, if they were really selling an MSRP, you probably would have been over there and taken delivery of it. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. You notice how I get him to say yes to whatever I want? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, is this even fair? Should I even continue? I mean, should we should we wrap them up? Just, just wrap it up. All right, Walker. Hey, listen, I, I number one, I totally understand, but you'd agree if they were selling an MSRP, you probably have already taken delivery and bought it over there. Am I right or right? Uh, you're right. Okay, so at the end of the day, they're probably not selling it for MRC or MSRP. Then you're probably going to come in. There's some hidden addendum. They're not going to tell you about it until you walk in the door. People do business that way. I wouldn't do business with people that do business that way, and I'm sure you wouldn't either, would you? No. Okay, cool. So now that we've counted them out and they're not somebody you want to do business with, if I if I am a little higher and you believe in your eyes than someone else, I'm really not higher. I'm actually just transparent, okay? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, isn't that how you want to do business? Yes. Yeah. So, yep. so Walker, listen to me. You've got a vehicle you're trading in today. Typically on a normal day in a normal market, your car would be worth about eight to $10,000 less. Walker, we're giving you all the money for your car. This isn't a normal market. Just like it's not a normal market on my car, it's not a normal market for yours. So everything's abnormal from my car to your price, but it really all washes out in the end. Am I right or right? Right. Okay, Walker, let's do the deal. Let's wrap it up. Now that we've explained the numbers, let me get to taking care of you and giving you world-class customer service. Is that fair? Sir, yes, sir. Wrap up the deal and move through it. I said it's an abnormal market. I called it out. I'm not going to hide the elephant in the room. Oh, oh, manager, he knows we're higher in price. What should I do? How about tell him? I know we're higher. Listen, Walker, we can't be high in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family and be the lowest in price. Walker, great business doesn't work that way, does it? Right? Sorry, it was muted. Yes. Nope. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Guys, did you hear what I said? I said we can't be high in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family and be the lowest uh, in price. Great business doesn't work that way. Okay. Look, hey, Walker, I don't like cheap stuff. Do you? No. No, then why are we talking about cheap stuff, guys? Listen, guys, you can pop off these little one-liner word tracks that literally, listen to me, keep the sell advancing forward. You guys, can I explain this? Your customers are looking, follow me, don't, don't miss this. Your customers are looking for bias, bias from you that they can see that their doubt is real, that they're insecurity is real that this price being too high is real see when walker told me it was too high i didn't act like it was too high and i didn't deny it was high either i told him it was higher just like he wanted more professional business from a place who doesn't want higher we all want higher but in order to get higher things are going to be a little higher that's how great business works am i right or right write it down guys listen to me Every single one of you, if you were listening to me, I, I was you. I didn't know how to speak. I stuttered. I didn't know how to talk. And then I decided to do two things, get uncomfortable, run to pressure. And then I did two other things. I decided to know my business better than anyone else, anyone. Secondly, I decided to figure out how to kick my own ass every day. Guys, what am I doing with you guys right now? I mean, think about it, guys. We're on a call. We got 134 people, okay? What am I saying? I'm saying, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Name one freaking bad out there that gets in the room and says, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. You guys still ain't tied me up yet because you can't tie up a person that believes in themselves. And I'm not arrogant. I'm not cocky. I'm not vain. I'm a trained assassin. And that's what you guys are doing. You're training to be assassins right now. Does that make sense? All right, Gregory, come on, son. It looks like you got a little something you want to come out with. Let's go, buddy. Morning, Andy. Um, What's yeah, going on, so buddy? you're like a ball of fire today. 
You seem like you're <laughs> out. Does he seem a little over over fired up today? Right, you a little fired up? Yeah, I'm all shaving up everything, man. It's Greg, time you to get going. You're just a little fired up, Greg. You better say, "Hell yeah, you know, fired I'm up." I'm fucking man. fired up. <laughs> all right, come on. All right, do we call you Gregory, Greggy, or Greg? Gregory, Gregory, please. All right, Gregory, <laughs> come on, son, bring it on. All right. Well, Kelly Blue Book says that um, my car value is at twenty eight thousand, but you offered me twenty thousand. How does that? You know, I I'm I want twenty eight for it. Yeah, Gregory, I totally understand. If Kelly Blue Book said your car was worth sixteen grand and you knew it was worth twenty, would you take it? No. No. So at the end of the day, it's just a book and it's just a guide. It doesn't really matter what anybody says it's worth. It's what we agree on. Wouldn't you agree? Because nobody else is doing the deal except me and you. Am I right or right? Yeah. So let's quit talking about what other people are saying, right? I'm just going to tell you because it really doesn't matter. What matters is what me and you come up with. Gregory, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? In the past experiences, you've bought more than one car before in your life. Am I right? Yeah. How many cars have you bought? Three. Three? The last two, do you remember when you traded it back in and you were just grossed out on what it was worth? I actually sold those privately. Mm -hmm. And when you sold them privately, right? You had to sell them privately to get more money. Am I agree? Would you agree? Yeah. That's why you didn't go to the dealership. So this time the dealership's giving you prime money. And that's the reason why you're here. And you're not trying to sell it out right on your own this time. I'm going to tell you this, Gregory, you're here for the right time in the right market. We're giving you all the money on your vehicle. I don't care what Kelly Blue Book, Yellow Book, Black Book says. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, those places aren't going to write a check for your car. Wouldn't you agree? Correct. So if they're just, if they're not, it's kind of like this. If you go to Google right now and you type in your height and weight and what you weigh, would you agree you're going to get tons of different opinions on people telling you whether you're healthy or not? Yeah. And they're just opinions. And at the end of the day, all that matters is what you think. Am I right? Yep. Cool. So let's get everything else out of the way. I'm giving you a good number for your trade, Gregory. You're buying a great vehicle today. You're getting world-class customer service. And let me ask you a question. You're married, right, Gregory? Yes. Gregory, if your wife and you did business with me right now and you went on a vacation and she was driving down the road and she got a flat tire and she was broke, stranded, broke down on the side of the road. Listen, if she needed to reach out and, and, and call somebody for help, ask me if I'd stop everything I'm doing right now and go help her. Go ahead. Ask me. Would you stop Absolutely, everything? Absolutely, Gregory. I'm not even going to let you finish. I would start, I'd drop everything I'm doing and I would go down there and I'd help her immediately fix her flat tire and you'd be out of town. And I would do everything that I said I'm going to do. And at the end of the day, that's that's value. That's value for the price. And that's more, more valuable than money. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Cool. Let's do the deal, Gregory. Thank you so much. Put it right there. Put it, put it there, buddy. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. I'd still like 2000 more for my trade. I, I know you would. Gregory, at the end of the day, what we would like and what we get are two separate things. And I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Guys, this is where I would take it to paper. Let's just, let's understand this. I would say, and I'm just going to tell you, if I had a piece of paper and I'm sitting here with Gregory, I would turn my shoulder into Gregory. And, and I wouldn't say, Gregory, I'd say this. I'd say, Gregory, hey, number one, I totally understand. Look, let's let's review how we've arrived at the top value for your trading, okay? So Gregory, I'm at 22,000, right? We're going to talk about a couple of different things today. What we do is we type your VIN number in, we type the mileage in, and we get within a hundred mile radius of all the vehicles that have sold in the last 30 days that were just like yours. Gregor, would you, would you rate your car good, bad, perfect? How would you rate it? I'd rate it excellent. Good. Well, that's how we rate it. Perfect. So we're all on the same page. We rate it that way. Gregory, what we've learned in a hundred mile radius, your vehicle, vehicles that are selling just like yours are going for around 21,000. We gave you a thousand more than that, Gregory. So we're a thousand more. Also on top of that, my general manager, you've got a Kia, a Hyundai Sonata, whatever, whatever you got. Let me say, you got a Hyundai Sonata. My general manager knows Hyundai GMs all around the country. He's reached out and got buy bids. They're going for around 21 grand, 20 grand, okay? Just in that price range. So long story short, that's about $500 or higher than all the other people that are giving money on your trade. Secondly, Gregory, you can land a 747 airplane on most dealership slot. Would you agree availability is pretty slim right now? Yes or no? Yeah, that's true. So finding the right vehicle, getting it for a fair deal, because most of these places, because they can't find cars, they're marking them up 10, 15 grand over, okay? We're not doing that with you today. OK, you'd agree that the total deal has to be looked at, not just your trade. There's a lot of other variables in place. Would you agree? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So we're going to take all that in consideration. And then lastly, recondition the vehicle, um, Gregory, to make it like new for the next person that's going to buy it. Okay. Just like you're buying my new car today, your vehicle has 27,000 miles. I'm going to have to resell it to somebody else. Wouldn't you agree that if your daughter needed a vehicle, your daughter, Gregory, let's say that she was old enough to drive and she needed a vehicle and I was selling this to her, wouldn't you want me to make it like new for her and her family? Yeah. Yeah, and that's called reconditioning, Gregory, and I'm going to have to spend some money to make that perfect, okay? I just don't want to oil change it and throw it out to her. So we've got to spend some money. That's going to cost money, and that's the reason why we have to allocate for that. Just like you're getting a great deal, you're a great guy. I know that you want to make sure somebody else gets a great deal on your car that you're buying, okay, and gets a great vehicle. So with that being said, Gregory, thank you so much. You're amazing. Go ahead and sign right here, and I apologize. I forgot to ask you, when do you want to set your first payment due towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's going to work best for you and your family? Just roll out. It doesn't out. matter, Andy. <laughs> but watch, but push through it, guys. Can I tell you something? Listen, take the words. Let's do the words and let's just let's just put them away. Are me and Gregory cool? Are me and Gregory in report? Are me and Gregory going to do business forever? Am I am I making Gregory feel that there's nothing more important in this world than him? Am I playing on my phone? Am I messing around? Am I looking over here on the showroom floor? And do I have massive eye contact with Gregory? Am I dialed in? Guys, listen to me, okay? All this stuff matters. Guys, you can say the right words, but not have the right approach, and they're not going to do it. You guys get that? Okay, so listen to me. There's something that I talk about. It's called being a master closer. A master closer, makes the definition I explain, is to make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it the customer's idea every single time. My goal is anytime that I'm communicating with somebody, Yes, I know thousands of word tracks that I've memorized and I've learned just by sitting just like you guys are and writing down things that people said. After this call is up today, guys, it's 9.52 after this call's up. You guys know this call is recorded, right? So you know that this call is going to go into the queue and that you guys can log into the platform and you guys can rewatch this video. Guys, today, do you think that there was a lot of gold nuggets dropped? Yes or no? Okay, if there was a lot of gold nuggets dropped, if there was just, forget about a lot. Let's go back to one. If there was one thing that you learned on this call today that you feel like that you could really benefit from and you could grow with, would it be worth going back and watching it again? Yes. And by the way, I want to tell you something, okay? Become a student of the game. That's it. I am a student of a couple of things. By the way, underneath student, go ahead and write this down on your paper and just write this down and we'll end this call with this. Student, okay? You need to be able to do these few things. Number one, believe in yourself massively. Becoming a student means that your, your goal is to increase your belief every single minute. Number two, okay, you have to be able to persuade people. In order to persuade, persuade means transfer of emotion. You must take the way you feel. You guys have watched me for an hour now. And all I've done, have I changed my state one time? Have I gotten deflated one time? No ways, man. I'm not going to do it. Not a chance. Okay, this is the posture of a winner. This is the posture of a closer. And I had a can-do attitude the whole time. Didn't really care what somebody said. What, what I cared about is where I thought we were going. Okay? And by the way, we're where I know we're going. All right? So your words mean everything. You speak in depth over your life. You know, what, what, what are you doing? What's coming out of your mouth? Okay? You're talking good about the deal. You're talking bad about the deal. Does your body language show you don't believe? Does it show you do believe? Okay? But really importantly, You've got to become an influencer and you've got to learn how to persuade. What, what does an influencer mean? Let me explain what it means. An influencer means that you're somebody that they will look up to for information. Okay, listen, is it the era of the influencer? Yeah, it is. People are always looking for people to influence them. And then that way that it's, there's good influence. You guys need to understand this. You are the influencer for your job, for your industry, for your business. Guys, do me a favor. Can we go outside of that business realm and also be a great person that may influences people no. to, to like show them what it looks like to be a good person, like influence people that, Hey man, it's not just about like buying something or, or making a decision today with somebody. It's about doing and making, buying and making that right decision with the right person. Okay. Look, that's me. Okay. Like you have to be able to say that and you have to be able to smile when you say it. Okay. So I just want to tell all you guys, I said uh, confidence, right? Your belief, right? I talked about um, conviction. You know, when you say something, make sure you believe it again, which goes back to the belief for yourself. If you don't believe, conviction doesn't even exist. Okay. Also, um, persuasion, right? How to persuade, influencing, being a master communicator. And then lastly, let's finish off with this. 
two, actually two things. Let's finish off with number one, learn some new language, learn some new language. Some of you guys speak the same this year as you spoke three years ago. Okay. It's like, dude, when are you going to sound different? Okay. Like you should be changing the way you talk, the way you speak, the way you work, the way your words come out, your tonality and all that. It should be shifting. If it's not shifting, you're not growing. Okay. Like, so like, let's be honest with ourselves. Um, and then lastly, we're going to go into one more thing. Okay. Listen, this is a big deal. Get in proximity. Everybody write down the word proximity. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Hey, this is a good one. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is huge. I'm going to say this proximity. Proximity means this. Okay. Everybody ask yourself this question on this call with us today. If you love sales, if you love closing, if you love making money, if you love learning how to win negotiations, right? If you love that stuff, do you love calls like this? These are the way my live events run, except for I do these all day, every day, and it's absolutely crazy. We have a couple events. I said proximity means get close to those people that, that are, are how you grow, and you will grow faster. There's a learning curve. Would you guys like to beat the learning curve? I would. If one guy's going to take him three years to get great, I'm saying, hey, can I get great in three months or in 30 days? Okay. So I want you to do me a favor. Okay. Uh, he's posting in here. Ian is, I'll have to look at both of them because now <laughs> they're twins. They look the same. Ian is posting in the group his cell phone number, 480-780-2203. Look in your chat right now. I'd like for you to write that phone number down. And I'd like you to think about two things. We've got a boiler room event coming up in late October. Boiler room. You say, Andy, what is that? That's where people come in. They bring a list of customers. Last time we did it, we set 1,400 appointments in four hours with like 100 people. Guys went back to the dealership. I mean, Jesse's a 63-year-old man. Brought a list, came to the boiler room. Okay, flew off Scottsdale, Arizona. We called his customers. I helped Toyota. Jesse went back and sold 18 cars in one week. Jay, Jesse's only a 15 car man. How the hell does that happen? So what you're saying is, Andy, you're going to show them how to shoot the gun. There's a difference between you get on here yeah. and you see him close and you see him negotiating. But in the boiler room, it's like he's going to be there with you. How many to tell your deals. He's going to be like, you're going to be like, hey, like I get to watch Andy Elliott close my deals. Yeah. Like we're going to close your deals. Like we're going to call somebody and I'm going to grab the phone and then I'm going to close your deal. And that's it. So if you want to do that, these kind of events don't come very often. We're doing one at the end of next month. Make sure you text that number, okay? Just, Eva, te text that Eva's number. Eva's already signed up. I don't know why she's asking. Yeah, she signed up. She, she just likes to ask a lot of times. because she's, she's coming excited. to like Florida. She's coming to the yeah. seminar. And by the way, to like, if you're in Florida or you're close to Florida, we have an event in Florida, October 23rd. It's called Battle of the Bay in Tampa Bay, Florida. Guys, it is going to get crazy, okay? If you want to become a savage, be there. Also, listen to me. In November, in November, we have our we have a master closer seminar coming up this weekend. That's that was almost already booked. Yeah, out. yeah, it's already booked out. So the next seminar is in November. Come out and train live with me in Scottsdale. Play bottom now. Line, bottom now. line is, is if you want to come out to a live event, just do me a favor. Text Ian right now and say, send me those live dates, events are again, so I can look at them. And let's try to figure it out. And I would love for you to spend an entire weekend or an entire day with me. And we will literally recreate your life. Garen freaking T. So love you guys. Thank you for real your quick, hour. Real quick. One thing, everybody listen up. There's one private event that's on December 7th. Just go over that real quick. Yeah, okay, cool. So by the way, some, some people want to learn in that, in that real well, group. No, let me tell you what it is. December 7th. December 7th, we're having a mastermind couples event. You say, what does that mean? It means this. Those that grow together, stay together. You feel me? Those that grow together, stay together. My wife is the reason for my success. Okay. Everything came into play when we trained together. All I want to say is that we are having a couples mastermind. That means this. It is going to be savage. We are going to show you how to run your freaking relationship higher than you've ever imagined, but also how to go get every single thing you've ever wanted in your life and more. Imagine if you had your partner grow with you and you guys attacked life together. Dude, your life with 20X overnight. Okay. I'm just telling you, dude, I, I have a marriage that 
we're going to show you how to build this. It's insane. By the way, we win in life. We win in fitness. We win in relationships. We're more in love with each other than ever before in all kinds of areas that we'll talk about. If you want information on training, it'd be cool to say, hey, babe, we're going to an event together. I want to grow. I want to train. I'm taking you with me. You know why? Because we're going to take over the world. It's me and you against the world, babe. We're going together or against with your boyfriend, your husband. So it's 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 no it's a December 7th. It's going to be in our VIP suite here. So we're only taking like 30 people. Okay. And, and yesterday they announced it to a couple of people and they put 10 spots like that. So if you want to go, it's going to be a small setting. It's plan be, your year. Yeah. Plan, what you do now. It's a business plan. What you do now is going to be how your 2023 goes. Yeah. So how you prepare over the next couple of months, the events that you're in, the proximity that you're in, whether you're in Tampa Bay, whether you're at the seminar, whether you're at the boiler room, you got four things. But most people fail to prepare and then they wake up and have the same life and they don't understand why. So if you want to negate that and not have that happen, Prepare now. Reach out. Let me know. And then let's get it going. Yeah. And, but listen, if you want to really understand how success is done, okay, listen to me. It's done with you and your partner together. If you go off and you just become this badass and she or he doesn't grow with you, they're going to despise you. They're not going to be interested in growing with you. It's, I'm just telling you the truth, okay? So those that train together stay together, okay? In church, they would tell you those that pray together, stay together. We pray together, but we train together. We go everywhere together. So bring your partner in on your business, and I will assure you, you will go home with the game plan between you and your partner, and you guys will triple your money, but your life will 20 out. Take care of them, yeah. Yeah, you guys will be on fire That's like it. never before, okay? And I'm not teasing That's you about magic. this. Like, by, by the way, this is the good life okay shit tells when, you. when when you and your partner are on fire together so for anybody that's like hey man if i was to ever do anything that would probably be it good i only do these like once a year so you got one coming up december 7th you got three months to plan for it so shoot us a text you see the number in the chat line we Boy, love you guys kill it see you guys soon Yo. adios Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.